Bueno, comienzan a enfriar los motores. Estamos a 8 minutos del lanzamiento. 8 minutos 19 segundos. Este lanzamiento de este cohete de casi 30 metros de Firefly Space en su segundo intento de vuelo orbital. Recuerden que falló el primero. Este es el tercer intento de lanzamiento de la, del segundo. Esto sucede en Vandenberg, California. La inclinación de órbita es 137 grados. Y está, son de un cohete de dos etapas propulsado con querosén ultra refinado, o sea, RP1 y oxígeno líquido. Cuatro motores REV en la segunda etapa. Un motor optimizado para el espacio en la primera. Lleva 35 kilos de carga de los 750 que es capaz. 300 kilómetros de altura. Porque es un vuelo de prueba demostrador. Demostrador de la capacidad de la compañía de poder poner este cohete en órbita. Hace ya 15 minutos hicieron el primer pull, o sea, el primer, eh, la primera encuesta entre los servicios del cohete, la directora de vuelo, y continuaron con la cuenta regresiva. Le dieron el visto bueno para continuar el go, luz, luz verde. Bueno, ahí vemos el enfriamiento de, de los motores. Bueno, Tim dice, no tengo idea de qué es eso, pero está completo, dice Tim. Que pasaron a la potencia interna. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que el cohete ahora está, tra está trabajando con sus baterías propias. There we go. Prop load complete. Things are looking good. Let's see here. This is a, a good question from Mackie. Do they have cameras on the rocket? Yes. Um, we're not sure how much downlink they'll have. Sabes algo del Aerospace? Pregunta Augusto Manuel. Sí, sí. Hablé con Danette Mera hace 15 días. Estaba en Inglaterra, pero no puedo. No puedo decirte más nada porque no tengo autorización de Dan para hacerlo. Y más quedamos en, en hacer un streaming para contar un poco las cosas y bueno se han complicado, ¿no? De, de, del enlace no hemos no hemos hablado. Bueno, ahí, ahí vemos que el, el brazo se, se reclinó ya hacia atrás para dejarlo libre. It's getting exciting. So I was saying in this shot, you can see the yellow railing below that. There's some concrete and that's actually a giant pit. That's actually, that's this, the flame trench. Yes. So yes, we please run A2SHR cycle. We do run A2SHR cycle. We do have flame trench cam, trench cam. T minus four minutes and 30 seconds. RC, please pull the Western range for concurrence at the T minus two minute check. It work. You please confirm we want to close SVHR following the cycle. Correct. Copy. We will leave it closed. Copy closing A2 SVHR. GC disable the pump. Copy. Pumps off. Copy. CD1 fluids, you want us to vent the cable. Cuatro minutos para lanzamiento. T minus, I need to Copy. do the FTS checks, please. GC, please cycle HV 212 213. Copy. Okay. Four minutes. FTS confirm. FTRs are active in ranges transmitting check channel four. FTRs are showing check channel. Good closure. FTS, please send arm enable one command to all ESADs. Arm enable one sent. FTS, please send arm enable two command to all ESADs. Arm enable two sent. FTS, confirm when all ESADs are enabled. All ESADs are armed. FTS, safe all arm commands. Arm commands removed. Fly safe. 
So the flight termination system is armed. They're looking to go, my friends. El sistema de terminador de vuelo está habilitado. Yes. Tres minutos para el lanzamiento. Alex, <laughs> Alex, Alex esto pregunta, pregunta cuál es la diferencia del motor optimizado para el espacio. En general, la parte de la tobera de escape. Cualquier Cualquier no go en este momento dice es es un motivo para abortar y problema de internet de Tim. Dos minutos treinta segundos dijo y el reloj dice dos veinte. So guys, remember, within two minutes, if there is any uh, any hold or any reason to abort, it does automatically abort, and they would reset. But again, they have a two-hour launch window here tonight, so... Two minutes, two minutes. CE perform final yes. CC. This is the final commit for launch. Chief Engineer. Alpha is ready. Send it. Bueno, Ingeniero dice... Go for launch. Director de vuelo Rock. que sí. Rock. Range green. Okay, so range, range, range green. O sea, tienen... They're Uy, here. They are Vamos. go for launch. Arriba, eh? Launch director Megan Roth confirming go for launch. <laughs> In silencio, por favor. All right, guys. I think it's time that I stand up here and uh, take a look. Yep, we are T-minus 1 minute, 22 seconds. Ryan's going to confirm everything is good to go. Oh, man. Luna, how's Team Luna doing? <laughs> Vamos a salir de la pantalla también, eh. All right, T minus one minute coming up here. External pre-press is starting. T minus one minute. Un minuto. One last final reminder here, everyone. This is a test flight. This is a demonstration mission of this rocket. So wish the teams the best of seconds. luck. Let's fingers crossed. Just keep a positive attitude and cheer this thing into space. Let's see. Vamos, team, por favor. The world's first orbital tap-off cycle powered, largest carbon composite liquid fueled rocket. It remains acceptable. 30 seconds. Vehicles in thermal count state. Happy vehicles transition to autonomous mode. 20 seconds. Here we go, guys. T-minus 10 seconds. 10 segundos. T-minus 5. 4. No puedo creer. No puedo creer que tiene de problema de internet con todas las conexiones Four, que tiene. 3, 2, 1. It's off the pad. Y pasó así de golpe. Lo perdimos. We have nothing on tracking yet. Hay niebla. There it is. Four's got it. Oh, 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 oh. Bueno, está volando, eh. Está volando. We're going to hear it here soon. I don't think we're going to see anything here tonight. Unfortunately, it's just too foggy, but Four's got it. Oh, I hear it now. No hay telemetría. Oh man, unfortunately it's just simply too too foggy here to see anything. But we sí. hear it very faintly, we hear it. Mucha niebla como para poder ver algo so far de everything abajo. is looking great on that tracking sí, sí. cam. Pero la cámara de traqueo infrarroja dice la podemos ver bien. Sin embargo, sigue con problemas de internet. We got Max Q. Yes. Oh, baby, look at that. It's looking beautiful. Oh, 
I can still hear it. Yes, Firefly. Good job, guys. This is awesome. No sabemos la velocidad, no sabemos la altura. Very rumble here in Vandenberg as the vehicle continues to ascend. All things looking good. We're coming up on the end of the first stage burn. Estamos so llegando next milestone we're going to be looking for is al final de la primera Nico, etapa. So main engine cut off. All four of those reavers are hopefully going to be shutting down here. Uh, just Están in a bueno couple apagarse. of seconds here. En unos segundos. And then, then it'll be a stage separation and second stage engine ignition with that lightning engine. O sea, I told you guys, y la separación y el encendido del, del motor de la segunda etapa que es el lightning. Launch over, baby. This is awesome. This is great for the teams. Look at that thing just flying fantastic. You can actually see the plume expanding because of the vacuum of space. Makes it so there's a, the, the, the exhaust plume just has no. Se no, abre no, más no, esa. Eh, so esos escapes porque. Oh, there is has, Miko. Bueno, ahí. Main cortado, cortado los motores principales y separación de etapas. That looks like second stage ignition. Sí, ahí está, ahí está, ahí se ve, se ve el encendido. Y se ve el booster, se ve el booster bajando, miren, miren, miren. ¡Wow! ¡Qué increíble! Y cámara de bordo, cámara de bordo. Increíble. Look at that lightning engine firing in space. Tap off power, baby. This is some history right here. Impresionante. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. Tracking cameras out here with the 30th doing fantastic work. Oh man, this is just wonderful. Se veían las cofias recién. Se veían las cofias. Dice que posiblemente veamos la... Bueno, esa vez sabemos... Esos son los, las cofias. No las cofias. Hopefully good payload fairing separation. That is just awesome. Sorry that the downlink here might not be fantastic as we mentioned. They are working with quite a limited, but there that tracking shot is sí, sí, viendo las cofias. Okay, I'm going to sit down here. I am. <laughs> This is awesome. This is great, great, great work from the teams. This is huge. Again, their milestones. I mean, they're checking stuff off that list that they wanted to see. And boy, oh boy, are they seeing it right now. This is absolutely Sí, tiene, ha tenido problemas de internet todo el día. Y, y todos so los días. To see. I mean, this is not easy. <laughs> I can't wait to see our high speed of this stuff, Ryan. This is going to be fantastic. This is some history here. Man, remember, if you are along in California, if you're in Los Angeles, if you're in somewhere where it's not foggy, it's too foggy for us here. But if you are, uh, if you're out there in California, look west. Decent chance you'll actually see it. You know, this is a kerosene engine. This is RP1 Carolox. It actually burns quite, quite bright. Decent chance you'd actually see it flying tonight. I'm excited to see... Um, You know, Scott Manley mentioned that from, from San Francisco. Tim ha elevado suprema las retransmisiones de Daria. Me da la impresión de que el realizador va a ser despedido. Y cerrar, no, 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 genial. Tim es lo más grande que hay, ¿eh? En vez de solo mirar en la pantalla, las cosas están sucediendo, pero ese es el estatus en mi lado. Estoy viendo lo que ustedes están viendo y se ve como un fantástico... Second stage burn with that lightning engine. Estaba tapando una cámara, dicen, awesome. bueno. Remember, of course, you know, getting into orbit isn't just about going up. You know, if you go up, you're going to just come right back. Imagino que va a ser alguna repetición, Tim, justamente. You can cross the Carmen line at 100 kilometers in altitude, and you're just going to come right back down. But if to, in order to stay in space, you really have to get that velocity up high enough. You know, imagine shooting like a, you know, a cannonball. If you shoot it. You know, even a high-powered rifle, it's going to eventually come in contact with the ground. You know, not only is it getting slowed down by T the atmosphere. T plus six minutes. T plus six minutes. Yep, call-outs are still good. Llevan seis minutos de lanzamiento. Oh, baby. Y todo anda bien, eh? Just awesome. Oh, man. So, uh, <laughs> I realized we lost our audio probably because we, we did lose the camera. I mean, we might have lost it, lost it, but, you know, it might have got unplugged or something. <laughs> Vamos a ver si, oh, sorry, I'm just si de alguna manera right at the top of the too, en lo que right quedó de la grabación se vio el lanzamiento. 
No, en su streaming no apareció. Una parte de la telemetría dice, porque como están volando hacia el oeste, no tienen de dónde capturarla. Entonces van a estar a dos minutos desde que lo traquee Hawaii. Ahí se vio algo, sí. Sí, justamente. Acaban de apagar el motor. Llegaron a la órbita. Bien ahí, bien ahí. Felicitaciones, Firefly, en el segundo intento. De, eh. ah, mira cómo está la gente en el control de misión. Están como locos, obviamente, obviamente. Yes. Obviamente esto para la compañía es brutal. Y que una compañía aeroespacial en su segundo lanzamiento alcance la órbita es brutal. Es descartable, te cueste totalmente descartable. Me preguntaba Mauro Rodríguez. New orbital rocket has made it to orbit on their first try. Second try has been uh, Rocket Lab, uh, Virgin Orbit, and now Firefly. And this is a big rocket. Again, this is this is a really ambitious first rocket to get to orbit. This is a quite a large rocket. So we're going to wait here to hear if they um so again right now they're actually just in a an elliptical orbit. They're in 300 by 185 is what they were targeting. And we'll wait to hear for sure if uh if all that is good. And judging by the <laughs> excitement from the teams it does appear that it's likely they I mean I heard some call out but I, I missed it but we'll see um we will be able to see a flight camera here relatively soon once they get ground tracking back. RCRF1 on CD1, please select Twy. Here we go, they're going to work. Select in Hawaii in 3, 2, 1, mark. We should be able to see their flight camera here in a second, hopefully again. As soon as that pops up, we'll, we'll bring it to you guys. Dice, deberíamos ver las cámaras. Dice, apenas tengamos señal, la ponemos de nuevo. We'll, we'll probably we'll, we're going to bring up the flight camera even though it is currently frozen because that'll be a, a chance for us once that is refreshed. Sí, la cámara está congelada porque no, hay, no se ha refrescado todavía. Still good after Seco after second engine cutoff. And again, I mean, at this point it's a total win. Now they're kind of going for the bonus round. They're kind of going for that uh, you know, what's that in that sport ball term, like the one point conversion type of thing. Like this is almost showing off at this point because they're trying to go for a 300 by 300 circularization burn. So once they're all the way uh, on the other side of the globe, actually, uh, 45 minutes into flight is when they're going to try relighting the lightning engine. So uh, that's, a, and again, that's kind of like, that's big deal stuff. That is uh, something, you know, that's a lot more advanced than just flying totally. Cuando esté uh, completando la mitad de la órbita, van a hacer un nuevo encendido, que es otro de los temas complicados, que lo haga, ¿no? It's it's a it's a good thing to be able to have, and it's an it's an awesome thing to be able to demonstrate. So, oh man, I don't know, um, Ryan and and Colin, I don't know if we have the ability. Uh, if we could start dumping. Lleva carga, sí, 35 kilos de carga lleva. Replace some of that. Yeah, this is LCD1. Um, RC, feel free here. to make an announcement along those lines if you wish. 
Y sees the vehicle at this moment and is looking for a connection still. Stand by for bitrate pickup. Copy that. Están esperando por la conexión. Hawaii sees the vehicle they're working on just having it connect to that ground tracking station. But still, I mean, honestly, again, even at this point, if, say the worst happens, they don't, you know, you know if nothing ever comes out of it from this point on, that is still absolutely a success today. Just getting through all of those huge milestones from obviously lift off to maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's something that technically they did have maximum aerodynamic pressure on their last flight, but it wasn't the expected because they were, the vehicle was underperforming. So therefore, you know, at some point it did hit its maximum aerodynamic pressure. But uh, this time they clearly punched straight through maximum aerodynamic pressure. And this vehicle doesn't really throttle down through that. So it just literally <laughs> punches through the sky, which is impressive. And then uh, they had uh, stage separation, great, beautiful stage separation. And then they went through and uh, got to uh, second stage ignition. That was fantastic. We could see that even in the tracking camera, you could see it blowing the first stage back. Wonderful tracking with the 30th out here. Just fantastic job that, no? from the range. And then, um, yeah, then from there, we, uh, we saw good second stage burn all the way until Seco, second engine cutoff. No han conseguido todavía establecer enlace. Igual, aunque pierdan la señal, eh, esto es realmente es histórico para la empresa. First vehicle, this is an ambitious rocket to be flying for your first time. I'm just absolutely blown away. Um, let's see here. Let's get confirmation. Um, <laughs> texting my friends at Firefly Quick, just being like, guys, this is insane. I, I am just absolutely floored. Sorry, I didn't know a little bit unprofessional on my end, but that's what you get when you hire just an enthusiast out here just to help share some feeds with you guys. I mean, this is we are working on the replay. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to we're actually Sí, lo que se colgó fue la conexión de team. Yeah, that's still on our network. We'll see if any of them lost we're actually going to build. Me ha problema de and then we'll be able to bring them into the truck. It might take us a second here, but we will be able to replay some of them live on air and even play them in slow mo. So we'll be able to see some of those views that we weren't able to see in real life, er, in bueno, real time. So. Sé que van a pasar. Que tienen, eh, inclusive, en awesome. velocidad lenta, en cámara lenta. Uh, are, are we actually able to download from the Z cams? Sweet. Okay, yeah, we are actively able. That means we didn't lose, hopefully, too many of them. They are actively downloading the footage from the launch. We'll be able to replay those here in a second. Bueno, dice que en un segundo va a ser, va a pasar las cámaras. Um, let's go ahead and answer a few more of you guys' questions. De lanzamiento. Uh, let me let me give a, a quick shout out here to to some of the people here. I mean, this is just this this is the time I, I I'm. Unfor Please informally, I'm working as a uh, you know a representative Can you informally move your mic closer, please? with I really Firefly. To hear you. There is Kim. <laughs> yes. Hold on here. Cut to the wide cam. Switch the lights to. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you, Kim. Congratulations. Oh, that's so cool. Look, we got some. champagne out here. Les llevaron un champagne. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is awesome. So again, remember. Their mission isn't even done, but the milestones they reach is considered by all means a huge success. That is, bueno, a pesar de que that, uh, todavía no, no, han, no han terminado la misión, dice para ellos so, uh, so let's, let's es justamente some, some eh, un éxito. Para Firefly es un éxito. And do some thank yous. Um, let's see here. So uh, I need to thank our team here. I mean, we have a, a, a team that's so far... Um, I think we might want to cut the comms actually, and we can pull up just a, a tight camera. We are again waiting, awaiting downlink. Uh, so hopefully. Okay, this is LD on Countdown oh, Net. On. Let's listen in for actually. Everybody uh, watching and waiting for data. Uh, we flew over Hawaii. Um, KSAT was not able to get our telemetry over Hawaii. Uh, we suspect it's a KSAT problem, not a vehicle problem, but it's uh, that's where we are right now. 
we have passed Hawaii now. Uh, now we're in the dead time between Hawaii and Mauritius. Uh, once we attempt to pick up there, hopefully, we'll get the second stage at Mauritius. So stay tuned on that one. When Mauritius it? AOS is expected at 47.29. Copy that. Thing. This is GNC on CD1. Uh, per the tracking table update, a 47 minutos van a tener la nueva conexión. It's not surprising given the low elevation pass that we were expecting nominally. Did we pick that up at Harder Bees Talk? Y si ya pasaron por sobre Hawaii y no pudieron hacer la conexión con la telemetría. Copy that. Copy that. Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't talking. So they were they were talking there about uh, about the ground Maybe. tracking stations. Can we a cycle of um, and yeah, so five five two. Sorry, I'm, I'm still hearing them in my ears. First. Uh, they were talking about the ground tracking stations, and, and what's happening here is the rocket's flying west. It's flying over you know over Africa, and uh, they're trying to determine which stations will be able to pick up the vehicle. And and you know remember, just like when I don't know if you guys have ever seen Starlink or the ISS flyover. Sometimes it's really low on the horizon, so it sounds like the, the station they're trying to track up, uh, track uh, in, in Africa, uh, Standing by. is likely going to be very, very low on the horizon. They don't think it'll have a full on lock CD1, on that. I lost state data. Um, I thought it would, it would latch. So, all right, I think uh, but I, let's go ahead and answer a few of you guys' questions. I seem to have lost lost it would we get all right so uh yeah like i said i, I owe a, a huge thank you to every everyone here again at firefly just for making all this possible we're going to stay on here air here until we hear all the updates and, and give you guys everything we know about the status of the vehicle at this point mm. but again demonstration missions this is huge just to be able to even get the vehicle through that many uh portions of flight that is absolutely incredible so yeah um let's see so uh no, 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 no,